it's finally here. Today I'm going to show you how to make this animated Pixar car mouth. It's pretty easy, so let's jump into it. Alright guys, the first thing we're going to do is hop onto our web browser and download a picture of a car. So one like this where there's a good spot for a mouth, I'm using this Tesla Model Y. Next, come over to this PNG Mart and download this Grunge Texture PNG. So once you've downloaded both of those things, just close out and open After Effects. Once After Effects is loaded, open New Project and hit New Composition. We're going to just call this Mouth and we're going to keep it black. Hit OK. So once you have your new composition, go ahead and bring in your Tesla image to the project files. We're going to just drag that into here just as a color reference. Next, right click, press New, Solid, and we're going to call this Mouth. Use the eyedropper to select a color that looks fitting for the Tesla and hit OK. Now we can delete that Tesla image, zoom out, and what we're going to do now is start making a simple mask that somewhat resembles a mouth. Make sure you have your mouth layer selected and just draw out a mouth. Once you've masked out a mouth shape, go ahead and invert the mask so that outside of it is white and inside is dark. Next thing we're going to do is right click, new, solid. We're gonna call this background. Go ahead and make that fully black. Hit okay. Bring that underneath the mouth layer and create another new solid. We're gonna call this um, inside mouth. Set this layer to red to resemble a tongue or the inside of your mouth. Hit OK. OK. Now we're going to just mask out the shape of a tongue. So it's going to start out like, let's say, about here. And it's going to get bigger so that we get that perspective feel. Once you're happy with that, hit M on the keyboard while the inside mouth is selected. And then bring up F for feather and feather it out a lot. Turn off the mask, something like that. We can adjust the size to maybe make it a little bigger. Once you're happy with that, we're going to now make the teeth. So we can close these up, right click, new, solid, we'll call this teeth. Let's go ahead and make this just a little bit off-white. Hit OK. And now we're going to press T on the keyboard. Bring this underneath the mouth. Um, zoom out of the opacity a little bit. And now we're just going to make some simple teeth shapes using our mask feature. So once you have the basic shape of the upper teeth, I usually like making it round about here to make it look pretty good. Turn up the opacity by hitting T on the keyboard, bring that up to 100, and now you can see what you're doing a little bit better. Just make it so it looks pretty good and natural. Once the front teeth are looking pretty good, go ahead and do the bottom teeth. Just do the same thing. Next we're going to bring over our grunge texture, so bring that into the projects folder and we're just going to bring it just below the mouth and above the teeth and we're going to just scale it up a little bit just like so we're going to bring the uh, opacity down by pressing T until it looks just barely visible just to give it a little bit more texture oh there it looks good now we're going to come over to the teeth Select both masks, Control c to copy, and come over here to the grunge and V to paste. Then we're going to parent the grunge over to the teeth. Next, shoot a video close-up of your mouth, saying whatever you want your car to say. It should look something like this. Okay, go ahead and bring that video over. 
into the Projects panel. Now I'll bring it to the top. We're going to scale it up by pressing S. It may look a little bit scary, but don't worry. Bring it to around the middle. Now press T for opacity. We're just going to bring it down a bunch. Something like that. Okay, so now we can start animating. So to do that, we're going to press on our mouth, press M, go over our teeth, press M, and finally inside mouth, press M. We're going to press on this little stopwatch to create keyframes. So do that for all the masks. Okay, so let's match the first position of the mouth. So it just has a simple mouth closed, so I'm going to go and create that. So just like that and you've done it. Now slide through until the mouth starts to move. So right now it's about to open so I'm going to copy all these keyframes and just paste them right where, my, where I'm at in the video. Now I'm going to go ahead a few frames and adjust the mouth shape to the video. So right there, I'm going to bring this down. Oops. And all I'm doing is matching the outline of my mouth. So that looks pretty good. Now we're going to match the teeth. Remember we're going for a cartoonish look so it doesn't have to look super realistic. Turn off the main layer and now this is what it looks like. We can bring the inside of the mouth right there where the tongue would be. So now basically you're going to just scrub through your video and match up the mouth frame by frame adding keyframes at the important moments. So once you're finished doing that, come up here, bring your um, car photo and hit new new composition. So once you're in there, we're going to go over to our mouth composition and drag that into the top of our composition. Press S, S to scale, scale it down. Just drag this forward a little bit so we can see what we're doing. And now try to find the biggest part in your animation. You're just gonna mask out a smaller square around it. So something like that looks about good. Drag that over to where the mouth would be and go to the mask, hit F to feather. I'm going to just feather it out until it looks, looks about right. Something like, something like that. You can just adjust the size of the mask too. And if you, anytime you want to edit your animations, you can come back to the mouth composition and just fix anything. So that's looking pretty good. We'll just bring this, it only, it only covers the space that we want. So we can adjust our time scale so that it starts right when the speaking starts. Just like this. And there you have it. You finished making your animated Pixar car mouth. I think it looks really cool. And now what you can do is also add some eyes to the car to make it look even better. So I do have a separate video um, for how to do that. I'll link it in the description. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.
Bright light, flashing. Fresh out the tomb like I'm Lazarus. Hop on the beat, now I'm spazzing. Got him in shot like anaphylactic. Ay, they wanna play.